Hi guys, Kevlar here. Today we are going to be looking at the recommended PC specs for Bodycam. So Bodycam has just been released on Steam in early access. There's a lot of hype about the realism of the graphics, so it's fair to say it's going to be quite demanding on your PC. We can see the system requirements for PC on Steam. They have the minimum and recommended specs. So we're going to go through these. I'm not going to get too techy into it. I'm just going to explain what some of this means and help you work out where your PC sits in this range. Really, we're going to focus on the three main components, the processor, the memory, and the graphics card. The rest of these don't really change between the two different specs, and they don't really have a lot of impact. So you've got Windows 10 or 11, you've got network, broadband, internet connection. This is quite important for this game because it is a multiplayer only game at the time of recording. And then you've got the 50 gigabyte available space storage. And the additional note, SSD recommended. So I'd avoid using any old um, mechanical hard drives, HDDs. So first of all, what does the minimum and recommended requirements really mean? So I would say that the minimum system requirements means that you need these specs to play this game at 720 to 1080p resolution at low to medium settings to get a smooth 30 to 60 fps. Then the recommended requirements I would say is what you need to play this game at 1080p to 1440p resolution to get a smooth 60 fps plus at higher graphic settings. So looking at the memory or RAM requirements, they suggest 8GB for the minimum specs and 16GB for the recommended specs. Honestly, that surprised me a little. I would have expected the minimum to be 16, as the industry standard for buying or building your own gaming PC these days is really 16 gigabytes, with 32 gigabytes becoming more popular too. Since less than 16 gigabytes will struggle on a lot of modern games and won't really future-proof your system, so I'd be interested to hear any feedback from anyone if they've tried this game with only 8 gigabytes and see if they actually get any issues. Then looking at the graphics cards, in the minimum specs you've got the AMD RX 5700 or the NVIDIA. Nvidia RTX 2070, both with 8GB of VRAM. Then in the recommended specs you've got the AMD RX 6600 XT, 8GB of VRAM and the RTX 3060 12GB of VRAM. This is quite interesting because they clearly showed a 12GB version of the 3060 where there is an 8GB version, but then they've clearly said that the 8GB of VRAM for the 6600 XT is okay for recommended, so not too sure why they didn't go with the 8GB version of the 3060 here. But to be honest with you, a game like this with these graphics, you probably might need to drop some textures if you have got the 8GB version, so I probably think 10 to 12 VRAM probably sounds more like it. These recommended cards don't really surprise me for this type of game. Both cards are a couple of generations old from 2021 and both cards are in the mid range at the time and still pretty good performing cards. But what does surprise me is that the minimum spec and the recommended spec really isn't much of a jump up. They're really only one band of performance difference. We'll explain a bit more in the next segment. The best way to understand what this means and where your cards sit within the range is on the Tech Power Up website that we've got here. They've got a great tool here where you can select the graphics card that you've got and see where it sits in relative performance to other cards. So here we're going to select the 3060 from the recommended specs. So we'll go for the 3060 12GB. So you can see here it's marked it as 100%. You can scroll up and down to see where your card sits and what percentage it is in relevant performance to the one that we've selected. So we scroll down a little bit here and we can see the 6600 XT, which is also in the recommended spec section. Shows that is a slightly better performing card than the 3060 at 108%. Then usually you'd scroll all the way down to see where the minimum spec cards are, but the minimum specs, we've got the 2070 here, which shows it's only 98%. So what's that 10% lower than the, uh, the higher card here and recommended? and only 2% lower than the 3060 and you've got the RX 5700 shown at 90% so really there's only 20% difference between this minimum spec here and the recommended spec here so that does surprise me a little bit I'd have expected that some of the cars as you go lower down the range maybe down to sort of like the 60% 70% area would still be okay to play this game at the lower settings but I'm wondering if the VRAM is a deciding factor here and really for this sort of realistic graphics then 8GB of VRAM is really a must so they didn't suggest any cards lower down the range because they have less than 8GB VRAM. But again, I'd be interested to hear any feedback in the comments from anyone that's playing this game on a card that is much lower than the minimum specs to see if you have any issues. Obviously this will be useful for other viewers too so they can kind of see if you've got the same card as them and if it performs okay.
But either way, although there's not a huge range in the specs that they've given, it's still a very useful website so you can find your card, see where it sits, because if you have got, for example, an RX 580, you'll see it's 56%, so quite a lot lower than the recommended specs. So you can expect to struggle with a card like that. One more thing I want to say about the graphics cards is on Steam, they have this hardware and software survey where they survey all of the uh, software and hardware used by the Steam users. And we can see here that the RTX 3060 is the most popular or most used graphics cards on Steam. So good news for all of you with this card, you are good for the recommended requirements. Right, so back to the specs, let's look at the processors. So minimum requirements, you've got the Ryzen 7 3700X and the Intel i7 9700K. Then the recommended specs, you've got the Ryzen 7 3800X and the i7 10700K. Again here, there's not a lot of difference between the minimum and recommended specs, only sort of one little jump up. So I'm not sure if they're being lazy here with their advice, or they're really just covering themselves. They don't want to put anything too low in the minimum specs. In case you take that as gospel, try and run the game and you can't. So without getting too technical, looking at all the cores and threads and clock speeds of the CPUs, let's just go to another website. So here we're on the Tom's Hardware website, which is quite good, where they have a lot of, sort of graphs for the benchmarking of CPUs. As these CPUs are a little bit older, their latest benchmarking only has sort of the newer CPUs and they've dropped off the list. So I've gone through and I found this legacy graph here of the 2020 to 2022 CPU benchmarks. And we can find our CPUs on here. So we've got the Ryzen 7 3700X and 8700X here. They're very close to each other. So again, not much change from the minimum to recommended specs. But interestingly, the i7 9700K and the 10700K are actually quite a bit higher up the list than the ones that they've got from Ryzen. So again, what they're recommending doesn't make a lot of sense here, but again, you can use this just to try and find out where your CPU sits. So obviously, if you've got a CPU that's right at the bottom of the list, then you know you might struggle. If it's much higher, then you know you're really good. Another really good way to do these checks is to just go to Google and type in your CPU. So let's just say you've got a Ryzen 5 3600. So we're going to type in Ryzen 5 3600 versus the Ryzen 7 3700X as the minimum specs. Do a search for that. And the first website that usually comes up is this user benchmarks. So go into there. It's nice and clear. It gives you the two CPUs and it gives you a comparison. I tend to use this effective speed area here. So this shows us that the Ryzen 7 3700X is 3% better performing than the Ryzen 3600. So really, if you've got the Ryzen 3600, it's only a little bit lower than the 3700X, so you'll be good for the minimum specs. If we take another example, let's say you've got a Ryzen 3 1200. So we can take a look at that one. And if we go down here, you can actually see that the uh, effective speed here is 51% higher on the Ryzen 3 700X. So this one, clearly tell you that your Ryzen 3 1200 is probably way too low performing because this is the minimum specs and you're 50% below. So again, another good way just to try and compare your CPU to the specs that they recommend. So that's it from me really. I hope you found that useful. If you do get this game, I'll be really interested and it'll be really useful for the other viewers to know how it performs on your specs as sometimes these recommendations they put on Steam aren't always that accurate, especially with this one, because I really feel they might have gone a bit too high with the minimum specs. So it'll be really useful to know if anyone's able to run it on lower specs than the requirements they've listed here. So do drop us a comment, let us know what your specs are, let us know how it performs, and help the rest of the community watching this video. So thanks for watching, please do give us a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers!